Dr. Robert J. Keller is board certified in immunology, hematology, and oncology. In addition to his medical practice, he's had a distinguished career in medical research and was named one of the 2,000 outstanding scientists of the 21st century. He has served on the faculties of the Mayo Graduate School of Medicine, the University of Wisconsin Medical School, and other medical colleges. He's also served on the scientific review panels of the National Institutes of Health and the Veterans Administration. He has authored more than 100 original peer-reviewed research articles published in various medical journals. Today, he directs the medical research at Phoenix Biosciences and at his clinic in Hollywood, Florida, treats patients with diseases of the immune system, blood diseases, and cancer. Here's a segment of Steve Scott's recent interview with Dr. Keller. So let's start with the immune system and the role that glutathione or GSH plays in our immune system. Each cell in your body, and it's not just your immune system, it's okay. virtually every cell in your body from the top of your head, including your brain, to the tip of your toes, has to create ATP, which mm -hmm. is a substance that is used for energy. Mm -hmm. That involves a whole series of chemical reactions. That's the good news. The bad news is we're oxygen-based organisms. We live on oxygen, and oxygen creates a fire, and that fire is called an oxidant, and in order to put it out, you need a very good antioxidant. Now, many antioxidants work for one thing, or two things, or three things. Glutathione works for everything. Tell me about what happens with our glutathione production as we age. As we age, the old data tells us that it decreases by about 10% a decade or 1% a year. I think that data, however, is very much outdated. Given the stressful environment we live in, the polluted air we breathe, the less than wonderful food we eat, and the fact that 70% of the American populace is sleep deprived, I would suggest that glutathione levels decrease much more rapidly than is projected in the literature. What does the drop in glutathione do to our body? Well, it's very simple. If, in point of fact, glutathione is responsible for putting out the fires so your body or each cell therein can produce a maximum amount of energy, as that glutathione decreases, so does the energy production from each cell in your body. Not only that, but you wind up with increased amounts of what are called oxidants, and there's very good data in the literature to say that oxidation, or too much oxidants, if you will, or not enough antioxidants, are really responsible for accelerated aging. So what you're telling me then, as glutathione levels go down, I'm going to actually age faster than I would if they were up to an optimal level. Oh, absolutely. Your body works as an electrochemical circuit. And the fact of the matter is this ATP, this energy substance that's produced by little furnaces in each cell in your body that are called mitochondria, are, are responsible for each cell functioning maximally. Well, mm -hmm. if your cells are functioning at 50% of maximum, clearly, okay, the problems attendant with that is you lose energy, you lose the ability to exercise, and all the other things that have been talked about with regard to aging. Does GSH play any role in my body's ability to fight off uh, uh, infection or disease or um, even, I, you know, I've heard, for example, that heart disease today, they're telling us, is as much a function of uh, inflammation as it may be from other causes. Absolutely true. There was a researcher 30 years ago who posited that inflammation was really responsible for heart disease, and unfortunately that was rather shunned by the medical community until 2002 when it suddenly became, oh, well, we forgot about inflammation and it really is important. So anything that will decrease inflammation will protect things. Now, let's define what I mean by decreasing inflammation. Inflammation comes by, from too many of those oxidants, those burning factors that are not countered by antioxidants. And again, glutathione being the top of the antioxidant chain, it's the one I'd clearly like to have the most of. If you ingest glutathione, it will be broken up into its component parts by the acid in the stomach, 
and will never get into your body in a form that your body can use it. The fact is, we spent three years doing a number of experiments to find the appropriate ingredients at the exactly correct amounts to allow it to, one, get through the stomach, two, be preferentially absorbed, because not everything you put in your, stu- in your mouth gets absorbed into your body. And three, and this is the real trick, it has to get through two membranes. One is at the entrance to the cell, and then the second one is into this furnace called the mitochondria. Mm. And so we created a very unique formula, which, by the way, was given a composition patent, which is usually reserved only for ethical drugs, that would promote absorption, get it to where it should be, Mm. and say to the body, you can do anything you want with it, But, oh, by the way, the easiest thing you can do, and the body will always take the path of least resistance, is to make glutathione. And you've actually done blood tests on groups of patients that have shown the difference before they get on this formula uh, and then after they've been on it for anywhere from three to six months. Yes, we have. And we developed a proprietary test that measures glutathione in lymphocytes. So it's real-time data. And the fact of the matter is, using that test, We did normal basing, which I think is probably low, and then we did patient groups, found the patient groups were significantly decreased, and after being on max GXL for a period of time, sometimes as little as a week, but it continued to increase over months, not only got to normal, but got to higher than what we found as normals. Now, how does it create such a jump? I noticed, for example, on the normal patients, Uh, In the test that we have on our website, it went from a a numerical value of around uh, 123 all the way up over 300. Mm -hmm. I noticed that on your HIV patients, it went from a numerical value of 48 uh, to 200. That's a 400% increase. What is actually happening that causes that kind of an incredible increase? Well, there's another little wrinkle with Max GXL that is not present in virtually any other product. And that is, not only do you get to make glutathione, once the glutathione is used up, taking care of one of these little fires, it's regenerated, so the body can use it again. How does it do that? Because a number of the substances we put in, and I'm not going to go through the molecular chemistry of it, in essence, take the spent glutathione and remanufacture it. Wow. Give me just a summary of the benefits. Rather than give you a list of what I think, Okay, I'm just going to tell you some of the things the patients have told me. Mm -hmm. Because this was created because of the patients in my clinic. It was not an ex vacuo idea. Mm -hmm. It was really predicated on real people with real problems. These are the things that they've told me. Suddenly, my energy is back to where it used to be. Gee, Doc, I'm starting to think like I used to do. Mm -hmm. Gosh, when I go to the gym now, I can actually work out because... One of the things that's not well known is that in the first 10 minutes of aerobic exercise, you burn 40% of the glutathione in your muscle. In this same kind of fire reaction that we're talking about for anything that goes on in your body. And if you don't have a way of replacing it, you're in trouble. You're not going to have good exercise. Soreness is created when you expend what is called the oxygen debt in your body. Basically, You can't make the fire anymore because the antioxidant glutathione is gone. Mm. So the body converts to what's called anaerobic glycolysis. Big name simply means it burns sugar without oxygen. Mm. It results in the accumulation of lactic acid. And lactic acid is the thing that hurts Mm. after after you work out. So by increasing the glutathione, you decrease the lactic acid. And by doing that, you can work out more frequently because your muscles recover quicker. But then just in summary, some of the benefits. Uh, number one, we know a raised glutathione level will slow down the aging process. Mm-hmm. Uh, diseases of aging, tell me about that. Well, again, diseases of aging to a large extent are inflammatory. Mm-hmm. If you look at Alzheimer's, if you look at cardiac disease, If you look at Parkinson's, um, if you look at stroke, all of those have a major inflammatory component. Now, I am not sitting here trying to tell you that glutathione solves those problems, 
but by reducing inflammation and reducing the, the amount of oxidants in the body, which subsequently reduces inflammation, it does have a protective benefit. Mm -hmm. It is not a treatment, however.